Yo, what's up, people? It's your girl Ruhi. How are you? I'm not that good because my throat is totally busted. I'm gonna blame it on the weather because two days back it was so sunny and I had so much ice cream, and now it's cold again and it's rainy and it, everything in between. Irish weather be like, because I'm hot, then I'm cold. Yes, then I'm no. But yeah. That's, that's Irish weather, but, oh, uh, my throat is totally busted. But anyways, let's get to today's topic, which is Dublin bikes. If you have ever been to Dublin, I'm pretty sure that you've seen the blue-colored Coca-Cola Zero Dublin bikes going around town. Their terminals and everything else, I'm sure you must have seen them. So, everything about the Dublin bike is all the information is present on the website but today I'm gonna share my experience about Dublin bikes I'm gonna tell you how it was like for me because often what happens is even if you have information you're not pretty sure about it unless someone tells you about it so I'm gonna be that person who tells you about it because honestly, it's my favorite mode of transport and I don't see any reason why you shouldn't use it if you're staying in Dublin. The Coca-Cola Zero Dublin bike is a shared rental bicycle scheme which operates in the city of Dublin. The Coca-Cola Zero Dublin bike, they provide a 3-day subscription and an annual subscription. The 3-day subscription costs 5 euro while the annual subscription it costs only 20 euros. Like I said, you only need to pay 5 euro or 20 euro upfront. A lot of people get confused that they need to pay a 150 euro as well as a guarantee, but it is not so. You're not supposed to pay the 150 euro unless and until you are not able to return the bike within 24 hours of you renting it out. Now, if you go online to their website and you do your subscription and you pay using your net banking, you will immediately get a mail with a temporary ID and you can start using the Dublin bike immediately. But if you have used debit, uh, direct debit, then you might have to send the receipt to the designated address that they sent to you and then you will get back uh, your ID. So I would definitely recommend you paying through net banking because then when, when as soon as you pay it you get the idea and you can start using it now um, the service charge is pretty simple for the first half an hour it's only sorry for the first half an hour it is free and up to one hour it's 50 cents and two hours it's one euro 50 cents and so on and so forth but as far as my experience is concerned, you hardly ever go beyond the half an hour, you know, when you're traveling within the city. Yes, they do have a Coca-Cola Zero Dublin bike app that you can download on your mobile to check the closest terminal, the parking lots, the number of availability of bicycles, and just almost everything. Now, as I said, when you subscribe to the Coca-Cola Zero Dublin bike, you get a temporary ID. You just go to the terminal, enter your terminal, ID, enter your ID, and then your password, which is usually a four-digit number, and then you rent out any bicycle, and then you just start using it. Uh, usually when you subscribe and you get the temporary ID, you get the Dublin bike card uh, for annual subscriptions, if you use an annual subscription, within one week, I guess. 
uh, you get that card in your address and then you don't have to remember that ID you can just swipe the card and start using the bikes hey friends I'm sorry about the change in video quality my camera just died on me so I'm filming this portion on my iPad so you'll see maybe some difference in the video quality but this is a very important portion and this is where I tell you my experience of using the Dublin bikes so sit tight okay so when I first came to Dublin I saw Dublin bikes and I was really fascinated by them the fact that they're available all throughout the city and then you don't have to worry about it you know maintaining it and that the first 30 hours is free it's like whoa man that's a good deal but then of course I had my you know kind of confusions and uh, you know doubts about it so I just asked my roommate and she said it's perfectly fine you just need to subscribe online then, then you're set so I thought why not let's do this so I went to the website I got my annual subscription done they gave me my temporary ID so I started using the Dublin bike the next day itself like the night I subscribed the next day I started using it <laughs> and I think the best part about it is the availability and that it's available like there are so many terminals all over the city that uh, you know you can easily take one put it back and you know it's it's so much more easier and I feel like it is one of the best mode of transport in Dublin because Dublin city has such a bad traffic but if you're walking or if you're in your bike you're you know bicycle you kind of you know you can make your way through the crowd <laughs> so yes I definitely love it and it's my favorite mode of transport and it has been going really good I've been using it for five to six months I guess now and I totally totally recommend you getting it subscribed getting a subscription like if you're here for more than I don't know five to six months you can easily get um, an annual subscription which is only 20 euro and it's it's actually much better because you end up paying I, I used to pay 20 euro every week when I used to use the buses here in Dublin but this is like 20 euro for a whole year so it definitely works out for me uh, there are a few problems when it comes to you know availability of bikes or maybe availability of parking lots but it's only some days and it's not that bad you know you always find a closer terminal somewhere else and you just go there and park it or whatever take a bike from there so it's not that bad but yeah you do have days so yeah that was my experience and I'm still using it and I use it almost every day every day and the best part is it's a really good bicycle and they always maintain it really well so the bikes are in good condition and they're grand they're grand so that was all of the information that you need to know about Dublin bike if you have any more doubts or any more questions about it let me know in the comments and I will help you with those have a great day see you later alligator don't forget to subscribe to my channel. <laughs>